Hey, what's up you guys? I'm Esther and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to me embarking on a journey. This is going to be two weeks where I'm doing the Chloe Ting two week shred challenge. I'm excited. I'm pumped. Um, I don't know. I have literally zero strength in my body. I can't do sit-ups. I can't do push-ups. I can't do anything. And I especially don't have like core strength. Like I slouch all the time. And I don't know, man. I've seen some crazy results from this challenge. Like I've seen the pictures and I've been on her website. It's basically a couple videos between 35 to 60 minutes of exercise a day um and I think I'm gonna be doing the warm-up and cool down in it I'm excited for it like I don't know what's gonna happen I don't know how I'm gonna do I don't know if this is gonna be I know this actually I do know this is going to be super hard and challenging for me and I hope I stick to it so fingers crossed that I don't just like give up if you see this video I probably didn't give up or it's a failure I don't know have a good time watching me struggle through this and if you have done this challenge or are wanting to do this challenge here's it from a very like beginner like stage one kind of person like zero fitness zero skill but let's get this let's get this let's do this workout I have seen some crazy results from this video but I'm still super skeptical because I have seen like people that have no results or like very little results and I'm a person who's basically stayed like the same weight since like the beginning of high school and it's kind of just like plateaued from there never changed like no matter what I mean that being said I am like a serial quitter when it comes to exercising like, okay so by some miracle of Jesus I finished day one of this challenge and in a lot of ways it feels way beyond my skill level like I feel good but as I said I'm not physically fit you know so I did all of these things and a lot of them are really hard but what I appreciate is that like there were there were like easier exercises amidst the harder ones and there was like a progress bar the whole time throughout the videos and that was really encouraging just to like see that you were like 70% done and you only had 30% left to go or, or like when a when an exercise came up that I like knew how to do or wasn't just like a plank or like a variation of a there was so much planking in the ab one guys like I I, I told you I have zero core strength and that just proved to me even more the amount of like zero core strength that I actually have but like I'm so sweaty right now like praise the lord that you can't smell me at this moment I'm gonna shower but yeah I I, I feel good and I feel like I can do this challenge because like she's encouraging in the videos and there's there's a lot of things that like motivate you and there's a lot of people who do this that are also pretty motivational so i'll see you in day two we're gonna keep doing it hey guys it is day two of this challenge and i am a little shook that i'm still here let's be real i feel like i was hit by a truck my muscles are so sore like the muscles I didn't even know that I possessed are sore but also maybe maybe I'm a psycho but I kind of like it because it makes me feel like I'm like a ninja in training like a secret spy like I don't know I don't know I'm not excited about today though because there are like two ab videos today and as I've mentioned many times, I don't have core strength, so just making it through that one ab video yesterday was tough. So, 
we're gonna we're gonna do it and we're gonna see how it goes but i don't know they say when you work out like more when you're really sore you like get better like you stop being sore because your muscles stretch out again and like we'll see if that works who knows i'm not healthy so it might not work and maybe i'm dying i don't know let's get into the workout <laughs> um i have like absolutely zero core strength like whatsoever <laughs> like absolutely none i always slouch i have no like back muscles so really if anything if i don't get crazy results hopefully i at least like get some core strength and some like back muscles built up and we'll see how it goes so i finished day three just now and it was definitely easier than like day one and day two and maybe i'm crazy but I think I'm upping my fitness game like these workouts are really hard and I still definitely do like the low impact version on some of them and I wouldn't recommend this for beginners at all in any way I don't recommend it for myself but here I am doing it nonetheless and I'm gonna keep doing it and turns out I was looking at the program and there's three like active rest days in there so you're only actually working out 11 times which doesn't seem like that many and since i've already done three i only have eight left so math i'm excited hey yes what are you doing for your challenge today it's an active rest today but then what are you doing in bed i'm actively resting later <sighs> okay so i'm done with day five and i'm really tired um, what I have to say after having done this for five days is that her videos are like extremely well made. I love the progress bar. I love that it's split up into sets when there's um, long enough videos and you can like track your progress that way. And I love that there's a timer to show you how long that the exercise is left. And I love that she shows you like what's coming up next and like what the next exercise is. And all of it like goes together really well and though just the programs are put together amazing 10 out of 10 um, but what I do have to say is that I still like sometimes can't even do the low impact version of things like the plank challenge that I did today like the the stuff that I just like could not like physically accomplish was ridiculous and I tried my very best and my very hardest to do like some version in some realm of like what she was showing but it still like didn't always happen and I figured no movement is better like some movement is better than no movement I guess and she's super encouraging she's like oh like this is this is just like where you are in your fitness journey and it's okay if you need to take breaks and like she's very encouraging throughout it like i have never felt like oh like i've just i'm like i'm too weak to do this challenge or anything and i can't do it and i can't work up to it i mean i i can't do it but i t i can work on it and i am i'm so glad that i'm doing it i can't recommend this for beginners whatsoever but i find it a little ironic because i have definitely worked out with like friends and people before and i'm like oh why aren't you like in my head i'm like oh you're definitely not like trying hard enough you're not like reaching your arms hard enough or you're not doing your push-up well enough or you're not doing this whatever it, just because i thought that they like weren't trying but like j from doing this that's like above my skill level like i'm trying really 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 hard and I'm sure some people would look at me and be like oh you're not trying you're just like being lazy or whatever I'm like it's hard bro it's hard for me for where I'm at in my fitness journey so I don't know it's a good thing I think because now maybe I won't be so maybe I will be but maybe I won't be so judgmental when I see other people like struggling with things and I can just I can just take it that they're they're trying the best that they can they might not be but I can take it that way so day five over and done with see you tomorrow
Okay, so I am done with workout number six, which means I am basically halfway done because tomorrow is an active rest day. And I really enjoyed the leg workouts today. Like both the booty and legs and the hip dips workout were really good. And I would say that they are easy enough for beginners to do. Um, but challenging enough to like push you and like help you grow. I definitely feel like at this point, I'm like gaining muscle. I'm definitely getting stronger. And I enjoy the workouts a lot more than I did like day one, even though it's been like literally five days of working out. I don't, I'm not getting sore. Like the soreness went away after like day two. So that's pretty cool. Hey guys, so it is day eight now and I am really tired because I stayed up way too late but yet I persist here I am at 8 30 in the morning ready to get this exercise done let's do it Okay guys, so I just finished day eight of this challenge and I'm not gonna lie, it was a little more challenging than some of the days previous and I feel like that's for a number of reasons. One being that I definitely did stay up late and didn't get enough sleep to be doing this workout right now. But also yesterday was an active rest day and we went hiking out in the snow which presents its own set of challenges body wise. So. I'm here and I did it and I struggled through it but I nevertheless no matter how much I struggled I feel like there is this sense of accomplishment in doing this challenge for me and probably for anyone who does it because it's it's hard like it's this stuff and and starting with somebody somebody like me who has like zero strength whatsoever like feeling that like my core strength doing these and like my arm strength and just like gaining that muscle is a cool and I enjoy it quite a bit I don't know guys I really like her videos like I really like how she presents them how she does them I like that she's so supportive I'm gonna do more of her challenges after this one is over because I like this one quite a bit and I feel like this might be like the hardest one it's like the two week shred and everyone talks about it so maybe the other ones will be a little bit easier on me a little less time consuming these are time consuming they take quite a while to get through five or six videos because i do the warm-up and cool down which i actually like both of them by the way i would recommend the warm-up and cool down for any exercise that you do because the warm gets you warm and that cool down is giving me the flexibility that i need in my life so if you want to start working out try your programs you'll feel accomplished you'll feel you'll feel pride in yourself and what you're doing for your life so catch you tomorrow <sighs> hey guys so I just finished day 10 of this challenge and I am absolutely sure that I both smell and look terrible. But what else is new? You know, you gotta live it up when you're working out for like 45 to 60 minutes a day. It's a good time. It's a good life. I gotta say, second time doing the 25 minute uh, full body burn is still a little daunting because of the just sheer length of it. Like most of the videos are 15, 10 to 15 minutes and this one is 25 and it's a lot and coupled with like this, the abs and the plank challenge, it's a lot. And I didn't have a lot of fun doing it, but I still did it. Gotta say, I after, after just like eight days of exercise, like keep this in mind, eight days of exercising, I have so phenomenally improved in the like ab exercise thing. Like I have so much muscle tone now guys. Like, I don't know. 
Okay guys, so it is day 12 of my challenge that I'm doing. Yesterday was an active rest day and I got like 10,000 steps because we went to the mall because the water in our apartment got shut off for a while and we were walking around there for like years. So active rest day accomplished. Now let's get into day 12, only three days left. guys so crazy enough i finished my challenge and i feel super excited and super proud of myself but i can't help but feel like a little bit sad that it's like over i don't know i feel like i accomplished so much but it was only really like two weeks um i did really enjoy it though like i had a good time i went from zero to 100 starting out from literally nothing and no muscle strength to being able to do planks and push-ups and do the hardcore versions of things. I'm gonna continue talking. <laughs> I went from literally like zero muscle strength, zero anything, like no endurance to being able to hold planks and do hardcore push-ups and like really hard exercises and all of this stuff and it was really cool to see how much strength I could gain in such a short amount of time and it was really intense like there were some mornings where I just did not want to get up and do it but I think it was really good because it made me a lot happier to be getting up and like doing something and accomplishing something that was like that difficult and it kept me on track like I woke up at 8 a.m every single day to like get that exercise done get it out of my way so I could just move on with my day and I honestly like I want to keep doing it like my whole entire life I have kind of been on this like health journey like uh even my even my uh in high school my senior project was health and spirituality and I did health cleanses, juice cleanses, I've done the Daniel diet a couple times, like I've done all these like different exercise programs and everything but eventually I like get tired of them and I'm like I want to stop, I don't want to do this anymore or like it is just like a three to five week challenge and I finish it and I'm done but with this I actually want to keep going and do more of uh, her challenges that she has on her website because I really enjoy this and I really enjoy her and her videos um, as a coach like she's encouraging and motivational and she has she has the stuff to help you get there like all of the low impact I have bad knees like I have really bad knees I can't really jump and I can't really use them super well and I'm like 22 and I have like the worst knees imaginable but the low impact helped me to be able to like not have to be doing these crazy things with my knees but I still got the exercise done and I think that's really cool because I can't really do jumping jacks especially like that's a big one and like knee highs where you're running like just being able to like do the marching kind of fast or doing the things with the like foot taps um and kind of on this endless health quest it's rare that I find something that keeps me motivated and makes me want to continue on in the journey and like I don't know there were some crazy results that I have seen like pictures of on her website and like of other videos people did and I didn't have any like crazy results like that like I didn't just like lose 50 pounds in two weeks or whatever I did lose a little bit of weight like I can tell um but I think the most major changes happen like on the inside like how much strength and endurance I have and like how I can like do actually do it and not just be like halfway through like diet help me because that was like the beginning and now I'm like yeah get it so much strength and it's really cool because um I think this is working out for me if you do this challenge post the videos like make a video uh share your results take pictures like try it out and see how you feel even if you can't do it even if you have to do the low low impact even if you have to like do your own version for like 15 seconds and then like be on your knees for the rest of whatever the exercise is like i don't know it it made me a better 
person to do this challenge and I'm going to start another challenge in a couple days. I've been taking a couple days for a break because I was really tired and I got headaches a lot but that was I think the most intense of her challenges so if I need to like modify so I'm not just like super tired all the time because I, I wanted to do this challenge to see what it was like and get through it and like do this like really hard thing but now I want kind of like a something challenging something that like makes me sweat but doesn't like kill me so we're gonna keep exercising and that's super exciting for me so do the challenge and if you like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel to see more challenges and more content and more fun stuff and follow my other social media it's all linked in the description below let's be best friends because I want to know what you're doing with your lives and if you do this challenge and if you like this challenge and how it goes for you. So, I love you so much, my little beans.